Hi, welcome. Recently I was asked to remove the enterprise enrollment from a school Chromebook. The model was Samsung Chromebook 4. I thought it would be relatively easy but, oh boy, I was wrong. This short video takes you through the journey I went through to solve the problem. This video is just a general walkthrough, not the detailed steps. For that, there is a link to a document in the description that explains step by step what I did. At this point, you have to open the back of your Chromebook and locate the BIOS chip on the motherboard. Oh, I forgot to mention that you will need an EEP ROM programmer. The cheapest and easiest one on the market for this purpose is the CH341A programmer that usually comes with a 1.8 volts adapter and a chip clip. Carefully locate the BIOS chip. In Samsung Chromebook 4, it is conveniently located on the back side of the motherboard, so you don't even need to further dismantle it to flip the motherboard like in other models. There are two NOR chips. Make sure you flash the right one, the slightly bigger one with 25LQ128DSIG marking on it. Align pin 1 with the red wire pin of the chip clip. Here I am going to use a Linux method. If you use Windows, you have to figure out somehow differently, like shown here, but don't quote me because I have not tried this method. Basically, if you use Windows, you just need to read the BIOS chip, change two values and write it back. Now back to Linux method. Now please follow steps 12 to 18 from the document in the description. Please do not forget to remove the battery from the motherboard, otherwise you will get an error. While you are flashing the BIOS, do not use the computer for other purposes. If you mess up, just start all over again. It will take about 8 minutes in total. That's long. Some people say it takes quicker in Windows. This is because in Linux, among other reasons, there are a few more commands to copy and inject the VPD vital product data information of the device from the old ROM back to new ROM. At this stage, your Chromebook is ready to run any OS but if you want to reinstall the Chrome OS, you will have to flash the BIOS once again with the stock firmware. This time from Linux terminal, not by CH341A programmer. Then reinstall the Chrome OS you downloaded earlier from the USB stick. Once again, these steps are all in the document in the description. From this point forward, if you follow the instructions carefully and correctly, you should be able to get rid of the enterprise enrollment altogether once and for all. This method should work for other high-end model Chromebooks. Thank you for watching and good luck with your Chromebook recovery. I made this guide to help ease the pain of removing the persistent enterprise enrollment on Chromebook 4 alike or higher. It is still very complicated for someone who has not much experience in electronics hardware and Linux but hey that's how you learn. One place to learn more in depth about it is mrchromebarks.tech. If you have made it to this far, I assume you have done all the right steps one after another and achieved the epiphany of yes I did it. So please allow me to congratulate you for your achievement. The owner of the Chromebook I was asked to look at it is very happy that I successfully got rid of the nagging enterprise enrollment from it. The Chromebook is now totally free from any restriction or attachment. This is how it should have been in the first place. This kind of technological suppression or manipulation is very widespread in Google, Apple and Microsoft products. This has in turn pushed young people of today and many people towards the open source hardware and software. When I started using Linux many years ago, it was very buggy at best but these days you can use it to flash the Chromebook thanks to the very many people like you who keep trying and never give up. So guys and girls, if you like my video, please like it and share it. Once again, thank you very much for watching my video and good luck with your future.